All right, it is Josh here, and I have got Jacob here today who is going to give us a bit of an update on his X2 project since a lot of you guys are asking about it. So I'm just going to leave it up to him to take you down the bunny trail here, and I will ask a question or two if I feel like it. All right, boys, you heard it. Now, the X2. Jacob does not really know about X2s. I'm not really in the X2 uh, religion. So I'm on the outside of the X2 world looking in and you guys are gonna talk to me about that probably in the comments below. So not an X2 freak. I'm hoping that I like this thing when I ride it, but I'm gonna show you what's under the hood. Right, because most people have been asking about the engine. All right, so. Or that's what the hype is about, really. Yeah, so we got um, the air cleaners are these like pod uni filters that I bought because uh, the intake manifold, the special, special intake manifold pushes the car right against that rear brace. And so there's no room for a flame arrestor. And so I just jammed that on there so it fits. But uh, so that's why it looks a little stupid there. We got. This is a SXR engine that's bored two millimeter over, so it's 820. And really, I mean, yeah, we got twin Makuni, uh, 44 millimeter carburetors on there. And um, uh, right now I got this pipe. I don't know what, I don't know what exactly um, the pipe is gonna be. I might just put a stock one on here. So here's, I got a question right now. I can see welds on the intake manifold and I also see like is that a custom throttle bracket as well? Yeah, so I had to make that. Did you make the bracket I, and the intake? I then? made the bracket and I made the intake manifold. So if you want to see a video where you make an intake manifold for a jet ski, it's going to be on here so it, it's eventually. So and it's a pretty good video. And uh yeah, you guys I, are going to want to know. I could see that being on with the next X2 video, probably where it gets running and whatnot. Yeah, so I mean, I have not done that much work on this. I put it off. I mean, you know, if you guys want to see a guy that actually does nice work on his X2, go check out Joel Arsenault's videos on an X2, because Joel has actually got it going on, doing it good, and he's making good videos where he actually shows you stuff, and I don't. But. Yeah, so if you want to look at the bottom, this thing is kind of mashed up. Well, can I go come back to the carbs real quick? Yeah. So you made a custom intake manifold. Was that to fit different carbs? Yeah. So this thing has, uh, yeah, twin SBN 44 Makunis, which is like the standard good carbs that everybody gets. And what's stock for like an SXR engine? Uh, I think they have like 38. Twin 38s? Or, they're like a different kind of Makunis. They're like they're the, they're like the new school emissions Makuni carburetors. I see. And these are like the ones that are not for emissions. These are the ones that are for being good. So, yeah. okay. um, now I had another question off of that. So these are S. These are forty four Makunis. Yeah. Um, oh, I know what I was gonna say. I don't think we've. Did you say the size of this engine yet? It's eight twenty. But it is an SXR that's been bored, is that correct? Or is it yeah, stroke? It's a stock the SXRs are like 780 and bored they're like this is 820, so okay. Um and it's got a shaved down head, so we're gonna have a little bit higher compression too. Did eh. you run a compression on it yet? No, I have not done diddly squat on this thing. I'm gonna tell you guys something. Working on X2 is kinda sucks because this is not like this is not where I want to put my hands to work on. So. Well, if you have to like do anything right here, that's pretty easy. Yeah, that's... Like this adjuster on the carb, that'd be not yeah, bad. Yeah, that adjuster and nothing else, it seems <laughs> like. All right, so let's take a look at that underside. So you can see right here, it's kind of gashed and cracked, and it's not really that great. But I will tell you, if you look at Joel Arsenault's X2 videos, where he's doing everything way awesome and good, he's his is way more jacked up with hor more horrible fiberglass repair stuff that he has to fix. But I just, you know, that's like the one thing I noticed that is crappy on my ski, but is less crappy, or it's more crappy on his. But everything else on his is kind of way nicer. But Joel, I hope you watch this video because I'm talking about you a lot. Yeah, like his X2, it looks really nice, 
but then it has that just nasty nasty fiberglass work in it oh I'm, man when i saw that i was like whoa i thought my my wave raider fiberglass job was bad yeah right but he had like stacks and stacks and stacks oh, of yeah, nasty Yeah, it's not like glass. feathered in. It's not prepped in and they used the horrible resin. But okay, what was I going to say? I was going to say some stuff. So Hold on. I just got to say, we do some really ugly fiberglass work. But we do like prep the surfaces and you would never be able to like scrape it off with a putty knife like what he did on yeah, his. Yeah, you can have them be a little bit ugly. But like you got to do it like so it'll at least last. So. Yeah, it can't just come apart. Say. All right, but back back to this. Sorry about that bunny trail. All right, so you guys are all going to be like, oh my gosh, Jacob, why aren't you like cleaning us all up and doing it all good like Joel Arsenault is doing? Well, I'm going to tell you guys why. So right now I'm just kind of throwing her all together, real like whatever. I just want to see how much I like an X2 with a big dog motor in it so I can know if I want to put very much effort into it later. I mean, I'm not going to do the seat thing that I was saying I was going to do yet until I ride it and figure out like, so I know what I like and what I want. I can tell you with my uh, other skis like that you have not seen videos for yet that i was able to tell immediately if i liked it or not and so this thing i don't know i've ridden the stock x2 and i was like yeah this is pretty lame i think this is dumb maybe it needs a big engine it'll be cool but it sucked now so this this steering thing looks really really good i really like the bars as well yeah you know i think this is adjustable up and down there was a guy that commented i think he said that and so like i tried to adjust it and the bolt was like kind of like stripped out a little bit and didn't want to loosen and so maybe i gotta heat that up with a torch or forget about it forever well i'm wondering is it this bolt that you do or is it this one it looks like it'd be probably be this i bet one. you somebody in the comments knows all right is it this bolt that you loosen or is it this bolt that you loosen to raise it up well let us know and jason is ghosting in the background Ooh. he's a ghost Hey, Jason, I'm going to ask you something. Just try to act natural. Good. <laughs> just, just act like I'm... Never mind. All right, back to this X2. Okay, what else did we say? Okay, so I, if I like it, I'm going to go back and do it all good later, okay? Oh, I'm telling you guys call. that now. But, uh, yeah, did we cover it all? I mean, yeah. We well, got an 820 with a uh, milled head. Probably going to have some pipe on there and uh, bigger carburetors. Well, it looks like, is that a Yamaha trigger that you put on there? Yeah, so I had to change the throttle cable out. So we got a Yamaha trigger trigger on there because it didn't fit with the other cable. Otherwise, I would I would have used the thumb throttle. I, don't I hate the thumb. I think the thumb throttle is just fine. I don't even care. Let me uh, get a... Can you just turn the thumb throttle around backwards and use it as a finger throttle? I've thought about that, but I'm not sure. It doesn't put it in a very ergonomic position. Well, I'm not, like, not exactly. Are you a very ergonomic physician? All right, so have you done any pump work on this, or is it just a stock pump? Yeah, it's got a nice little stock pump in there with a really nice, just stock impeller. And it might be totally chewed up, but yeah, it's all stock, but at least it's, you know. And I see, like, a shiny water box. Is that a stock water box, or is that something? That is a big, beautiful stock water box. Oh, okay. I just thought it'd be more crappy for a stock water box. Oh, they made it out of that big, beautiful stainless steel. It's gonna last you a long time. And you know what, I remember, I rode an SXR engine in my 650SX, which has like the same style water box, and it sounded cool. So I think this'll sound cool. Here's the Sea Rat, you've seen it a million times. I know you all want a piece of this Sea Rat, and I'm gonna tell you today, we've been selling these stickers out. Sea rat stickers, we just we sell them out every time they're on the internet for sale in wherever store you can buy them. But today, the Teespring store. Okay, the Teespring store. Linked uh, in the description. Also linked from our uh, channel page in the top banner by the Etsy store. Yeah, and if you don't get that right, we're gonna have Mick O'Toole come after you, and you better do what he says. Now. We are going to make this here sea rat. We're going to make it like a uh, Stevo so it has a little tattoo of itself on its body, right? If I can get my fingernail between the sticker and the backing the backing paper, I can, okay, okay. All right. So we got the sticker off. See, as you can see, it's probably No prep work. This is just going on a dirty hole. Well, 
It's what? a sea rat. You think I'm gonna prep this? You think I'm gonna prep this thing? No, I'm uh, just saying it's a sea rat. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. Wipe the spider webs yeah. off yeah, at least. Exactly. So, where do you guys think? Over the sea rat load? Because it does say sea rat there, and that's the original sea. We gotta keep the original thing. Yeah, the original written in blood. This is the original sea rat logo. I see this. With bleh. This is Mickey Rat. Okay, I'm turning off the speech impediment. This is Mickey Rat. We got the sea rat. What do you think? Over this old sticker residue or fiberglass wear or something? What do you like think? Like in this area, maybe at the very bottom. I don't like know. Like right there? I was thinking like almost at the bottom. Do you think I should try to put it on straight? Nah, it doesn't really matter. It's a like sea rat. Right there. It'll it's be supposed fun. to look yeah. ugly. Well, no, this is gorgeous. It's gorgeous in that ugly sort of way. You know, I think the sticker actually looks better than the ski. <laughs> That's the best part about it. All right, guys, you can get, I, I mean, I, I, you might be able to get a sticker like that. You so gotta you watch our, part of it. you gotta watch our Teespring store like a hawk. Every time we get these in, they sell out almost immediately. Yeah, that. Like, I can't even get them, they like, sell out so fast. Like, how much are these? Do these cost very much? I think these are like four bucks, and I chopped the price down way far on them. Like, so that I make diddly squat, because I just want you guys to have them if you want to have them. Wow, how amazing. We do not make any money for this, even though it's $4 for a sticker. That seems like no, a lot. It does and seem like a lot. And we do not make any money, because we're such charitable people. How about that? So when you're paying absolutely outrageous prices for an awesome sticker, you can realize that we're not making any money either. Only the company that... I don't know how it works, but there, somebody makes money and it's not us. Right, so like suggested retail, I think, because the company has like a suggested price so that I make a cut. And I think their suggested price on these was like $5.99 or $4.99 or something like that. And I was just like, no, just no. Is more that than, how much your Fox Racing sticker costs? Huh? Huh? I'm like more than $5 for a sticker. No. My, that ain't my, right. My, 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 uh, my, my peeps ain't paying that for that. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. But I wanted just to kind of pan around so you guys could try to eyeball out some new cool stuff that you haven't seen yet. Oh man, the Easter eggs, here they come. Like, just, they're more in that direction. Over here, you guys have seen these stacks of 650s The before. old army ski. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break that ski. one out oh, for man. Veterans Day. Oh, that's, for sure. That's from back when you were uh, in Vietnam riding jet skis for the army. <laughs> Okay, so uh, basically, I don't really know if there's anything we need to ask you, but you can ask us about this X2 if you want. But I don't know squat about it. Jacob seems to know medium about it. And Jason has had two X2s. That's true. I know the most about X2s, and I'm not saying anything. Yep. But those of you who are members of the X2 religion, go ahead and tell us what you need us to know, all right? Because we know that you're out there, and uh, we just, I don't know. I don't know. Quote to us, chapter and verse, exactly how many cc's an X2 needs to be fine. I know every X2 guy is very opinionated about what they want you to do with their with the X2. And so, you know, actually there's, there's some guys that are insistent. You gotta chop five inches off the back. You gotta not chop it off. You gotta make it into a freestyle ski. You gotta make it into a race ski, you got to, you know, and I don't know. I'm just going to try it out with a fast engine and see if it's any good. Yeah, so if you do have an opinion on the Kawasaki X2, definitely let us know in the comments section. If you actually do want to see more videos on the X2 stuff, you're definitely going to want to support this video and the other X2 videos, you know, with some positivity. Yeah, and maybe I'll make this thing nice if it's sweet. And also making your X2 buddies like watch this video so it has a huge amount of views will encourage us to do a lot more with the X2 stuff. And get your wife to watch them and, uh, you know, get your wife to watch all the the videos on, uh, uh, what's it, frickin' Instagram or whatever, you know. I know that that's like more of a, a girl's uh, media outlet, but I guess we're trying to, you know, we're trying to have something for our ladies out there on the internet too. So, and I- S Sign in as your wife and press play and then walk away. We're just trying to reach out in every way we can and uh, have a little bit of something for everybody. Yeah, so if you want to catch up with us on Insta, it's JSB, yeah. okay, let me start over. It's JSB 
jet ski brothers so like the same but we had to put jsb in front of it because regular jet ski brothers was already taken there it was yeah. huh i'll be so we're not the originals well we've got all this money from this we should just buy it from them they probably have all the copyright claims <laughs> and like registration rights and so we might actually have to change the name of us so <laughs> hey by the way josh is thinking about starting his own youtube channel called josh ski brothers because <laughs> uh you know let's just say i'm a little too heavy-handed in the video making process and you know it's sometimes it becomes all about me and not josh so josh i'm taking over your youtube channel jet ski brothers is mine you can start your own now and I don't know. You know what? We've been talking about junk. We've been trying to end the video for a long time, but I'm going to say we're going to cut the video off. So this is it. I don't, we, we're not for kissing long goodbyes. So get the heck out of here and watch some more videos. And a special thank you to Rick M's for supporting this video by giving us a ton of candy that we just ate right before this video to get jacked on sugar. Yeah, you guys respect Rick M's. Do what he tells you to do in the comments section. And also, Caleb, we ate all the candy that we said was for you, but Rick did not say it was for you. He sent it to us. We were obedient to Rick. And to candy. But we did save you some, Caleb, so don't get too mad at us. Yeah. Woo. Woo. See ya! Because...